Hey y'all and a surprise. I know I have not posted a what's for dinner over here in a very, very long time, but we have a new one today. I didn't actually plan to go missing from YouTube for so long, but you know, life gets crazy. I'm a working mama. I have three kids. My husband travels for work. So YouTube just kind of got put on the back burner, but I'm hoping and I'm praying that I'm going to be able to get back on track posting a new what's for dinner every Sunday. So y'all pray with me that I can get back on track for that. But y'all, we have a new what's for dinner today. So let's get right on into it. Now all my dreams are coming true. I just want to put my hands on missed being able to post so very much and i have missed y'all so very much more i hope that y'all will chat with me today in the comment section because i have missed y'all so so very much but y'all today's dinners and today's what's for dinner are going to be super easy and simple and straight to the point just because when i get home from work i'm ready to get food on the table get the kids fed get them in baths and get them in bed so that i can have a few moments of quiet time so as you can see right here on the screen I'm just making something super simple and that's some good old spaghetti so all I did was just open up some canned jarred salsa not canned jarred salsa and I just browned up some ground beef boiled my spaghetti noodles mixed that all together and sprinkled a little bit of Italian seasoning on top up next is our tried and true. I cook this tater tot casserole at least twice a month. This is my husband's favorite dinner for me to make and it's super easy and quick so I never complain. But you'll just need a pound, maybe two pounds, depends on the size of your family. You're going to brown up that ground beef. You're going to add some seasonings, whatever seasonings you prefer. I used some season oil, some garlic powder, and some onion powder. And then you're going to throw in either two cans of cream of mushroom or one can of cream of mushroom and one can of cream of chicken. I kind of go back and forth between them it does doesn't really matter it tastes good either way so once you get that in there you're just going to mix that up really well and then this is how it will look once it's all mixed up and we're going to throw some sliced cheese on top of that and you can also do this in like a 9 by 13 baking pan but i just found it was easier to do it in the cast iron skillet this night but anyways then i throwed on my tater tots and i like to sprinkle some seasoning salt on them as well and then i sprinkle a little bit of cheese on top of them and i bake it on 350 for about 20 minutes or until your tater tots are good and soft and this is how it looked when it was done up next we're going to make the super easy semi homemade lasagna so all you'll need is about a pound of ground beef some lasagna noodles two cans of whatever kind of spaghetti sauce that you prefer but i'm using the great value brand because it's the cheapest at walmart you'll need some italian seasoning and some grated parmesan cheese some mozzarella cheese and some ricotta cheese and i also like to use some garlic powder and onion powder but for some reason i didn't have that up there so all i did was brown up my ground beef and then i of course i seasoned my ground beef with my seasonings and then i added those two jars into the ground beef and kind of let that simmer on low i got my pot with my water boiling and then i added my lasagna noodles in there and then in a separate bowl i had my ricotta cheese a little bit of cream cheese and i don't think i shared that earlier and then like garlic powder and onion powder my seasonings and all that good old stuff and then i just kind of mixed that all together and in my baking dish i added my sauce or a little bit of my sauce first and then i went in with some of the lasagna noodles and then like the cheese mixture i just kept repeating that until i got to the end and then i topped with mozzarella cheese then i just popped it in a preheated oven of 350 degrees and i let that bake for about 20 minutes just until the cheese was good and melted on top because everything else on the inside of the lasagna was pretty much done you just want to melt that cheese on top and this is always a super easy and quick dinner to make on a weeknight especially so up next it was a weekend and we're going to kind to go all out and get a little bit fancy and we're going to have us a steak and some potatoes and some asparagus so those were the seasonings that i've got my steak soaking in that bowl and i just put that in the refrigerator and let it sit in there all day then when it got supper time i just cooked my steaks in my skillet and i just kind of dumped some of that juice in there or that seasoning stuff that i had in the bowl with the steak in the skillet as well and then here are my potatoes and i love these little yukon gold potatoes that you can get at walmart and the look the little mini packs or whatever so i love them they're easy to cook in the skillet especially and i've also tried them cooking them in the air fryer and they're good in there as well and they get really crispy and then i just have my asparagus and i just cook that in some oil with some garlic powder some onion powder some salt and pepper Alrighty, so moving into the next dinner we're going to be making some homemade meatloaf some mashed potatoes and some green beans so to make my meatloaf all you'll need is about a pound to two pounds of ground beef 
three eggs, some of this McCormick meatloaf seasoning. I just, I don't put it in the bag. I just kind of sprinkle the seasonings in my meat. Some tomato sauce, a bell pepper, some ketchup, and I've got this bread that I'm going to crumble up inside the meatloaf to make it hold its shape. So I just mixed all those ingredients together and here's how it looked once it was all mixed up and shaped into my pan. And I just poured ketchup all over the top of it. I prefer a lot of ketchup on mine, but if you don't, you don't have to add that much ketchup. And also some people don't even add ketchup. They add barbecue sauce. So to each their own, add whatever you would like. And then I've just got canned green beans that I put into a pot and with a little bit of butter, salt, and pepper, made that. Some instant mashed potatoes, kept it super easy and quick, and dinner was on the table in no time. I just baked my meatloaf on 350 for about 35, 40 minutes. You know, you want to make sure that meat gets good and cooked through. And then here my plate was once it was all fixed up. I personally love meatloaf, but y'all let me know down in the comments, do you like meatloaf or do you like it with ketchup or barbecue sauce? This next dinner is probably the most easiest dinner that you could ever make for your family on a weeknight. It's super easy and simple, and it's just, I'm going to call it some homemade hot pockets. So all you'll need is a Pillsbury crescent dough sheet. You can use one pack or two, depends on the size of your family and how many you need. I'm going to use two, but I'm just going to show y'all one on the screen. So as y'all seen, I just used my pizza slicer and cut it into sections. I put on some sauce, pizza sauce first, and then I went in with my cheese and I used the pizza blend, but of course you could use whatever kind of cheese you prefer. And then I went in with some pepperonis, but you could also add whatever toppings inside there as you would like. Then I just kind of folded that over and I used my fork to kind of clamp the sides. It doesn't look that pretty, but y'all, it tastes so good. And then I just rubbed some of this garlic and hub herb land of lakes butter on top and let that melt down i baked it on 350 for about 20 minutes or by the directions on the crescent roll dough sheet package moving into my favorite night of the week because it's Taco Tuesday. Now, I prefer chicken or steak tacos, but my husband is crazy about the chorizo sausage for his tacos, and he was actually home on this night, so I'm going to make him what he wants. Um, I actually have the kind that's in casings, so I'm going to cut the sausage out of the casings and add that to my skillet, and I will season it up a little bit. I'm going to brown it up, of course, and then for the chicken, I'm just going to cut it into bite-sized pieces, and I'm going to season it with some taco seasoning from a taco packet, and it's just a great value brand, and I'm cooking that in a skillet with a little bit of oil but of course you can season your chorizo or your chicken however you prefer while my meats are cooking i'm going to start prepping my veggies so i'm going to start cutting up an onion and then i'll get into cutting up my bell pepper and a few of my little cherry tomatoes Also, earlier I forgot to mention that I did turn my chicken on very low heat while I was cutting up my veggies, but now that my veggies are all washed and cut up, I'm going to add them right into the skillet with my chicken and kind of let that all cook together. I'm also going to cut up a lime and squeeze some of that lime juice in there, but of course you don't have to do that if you don't like limes or lime juice or whatever, but I do prefer that little bit of lime flavor. It gives it a little something extra to me. And 
then for whatever reason on this night, I decided that those few diced tomatoes was just not enough. So I added this can of Rotel diced tomatoes and green chilies into my chicken and veggie mixture, gave that a good mixing. And then I added this mixture onto some tortillas, rolled it up and added it into my air fryer. And I cooked it on 390 degrees for about 10, 15 minutes, give or take. I just prefer to mine to have a little crispy crunch on them as well as that little brown texture on top, but you do not have to cook them as long as I cooked mine but this is how mine looked once they were done I also added some sour cream inside that mixture I forgot to mention that earlier but you could also add some Spanish rice some chips and salsa some guacamole you name it whatever you could add to the side of that but I just had some plain old chicken fajitas that night but moving into the next dinner y'all we're going to be making a super easy pizza casserole and of course in that pot I just browned up some ground beef and had some pizza sauce but you could also use marinara or spaghetti sauce and then in that pot I had some bow tie pasta boiling until it was almost done you do not have to cook it all the way so then i sprayed my bacon dish added in my sauce and meat mixture and then my bow tie noodles and then i just repeated that until i used up all of those ingredients and then i topped it with some fiesta blend cheese but you could use whatever kind of cheese you prefer and i also topped ours with pepperonis but once again you could use whatever kind of pizza topping you like on yours and then i just sprinkled a little bit of that italian seasoning on top baked it on 350 degrees for about 15 20 minutes just until that cheese was melted also we had some of the red lobster garlic cheese biscuits instead of garlic toast and it was really good paired together as well but y'all that's all i've got for y'all for this new what's for dinner i hope you all enjoyed it if you did as always don't forget to leave me a thumbs up i love each and every one of y'all and i will catch you all in the next one bye y'all now all my dreams are coming true i just want to put my heels